In one side of the ring, we have the GPT-40. In another side of the ring, we have the Google I slash O. It seems like the, I, the, the AI battle is endless at this point. They be squabbling in the ring for dominance. They squabbling in the ring. <laughs> Welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to do somewhat of a comparison, the GPT-40 or the Google I slash O. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark, but please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Google and OpenAI both announced they built supercharged AI assistants tools that can converse with you in real time and recover when you interrupt them, analyze your surroundings via live video and translate conversations on the fly. OpenAI struck first uh, recently on, on, on Monday when it debuted uh, its new flagship model, the GPT-40, uh, and the live demonstration showed it reading bedtime stories and helping to solve math problems all in a voice that sounded eerily like uh, <laughs> Walkin' Phoenix, AI girlfriend in the movie, her, right? A trait not lost on CEO Sam Altman. So on Tuesday, so 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 Google said, all right, I got y'all. Okay, y'all coming like this. Okay, so I, here's our response. So the day after, right? The day after, <laughs> the day after Tuesday, Google announced its own new tools, including a conversational assistant called Gemini Live, which can do many of the same things. They say, yeah, 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 yeah. We saw what you did, but we could do it and we could do it better. So it's also revealed that it's building a sort of do everything AI agent, which is currently in development, but will not be released until later this year. So soon you'll be able to explore for yourself to gauge whether you'll turn to these tools in your daily routine as much as their makers hope or whether they're more like a sci-fi party trick that eventually loses its charm. So <laughs> here, here's what you should know about, you know, how to access these new tools and what you might use them for and how much they will cost. So first we have OpenAI's GP, GPT-40. What is it? So GPT-40 is the flagship model of the OpenAI LLM technology portfolio. The O stands for Omni and isn't just some kind of marketing hyperball, uh, but rather a reference to the model's multiple uh, model. <laughs> this word is about to hit me. Modalities for text, vision, and audio. The GPT-40 model marks a new evolution for the GPT-4 um, LLM uh, that OpenAI first released last year in March. This isn't the first update for GPT-4 either, as the model first got a boost in November 2023 with the debut of the GTP, uh, GTP, no, GPT-4 Turbo. All these PTs, GB, I can't, I can't keep up with this AI stuff, I can't. <laughs> so the GPT acronym stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. A transformer model is a foundational element of generative AI, providing a neural network architecture that is able to understand and generate new outputs. GPT-40 goes beyond what GPT-4 Turbo provided in terms of both capabilities and performance. As was the case with its GPT-4 predecessors, GPT-40 can be used for text generation use cases such as summarization and knowledge-based question and answer. The model is also capable of, re of reasoning, uh, solving complex math problems, and coding for you programmers out there. So the GPT-40 model introduces a new rapid audio input response that according to OpenAI is similar to a human with an average response time of 320 milliseconds. The model can also respond with an AI generated voice that sounds human. And you know what, what it's capable of. The model can talk with you in real time with a response delay of about 320 milliseconds, which OpenAI says is on par with natural human conversation. 
Uh, you can ask the model to interpret anything you point your smartphone camera at and it can provide assistance with the tasks like coding and translating text, right? Now let's switch gears to Google Gemini Live and what is it? This is the Google product most comparable to GPT-40, a version of the company's AI model that you can speak with in real time. Google says that you'll also be able to use the tool to communicate via live video later this year, right? The company promises it will be a useful conversational assistant for things like preparing for a job interview or rehearsing a speech. Now how to access it. So Gemini Live launches in the coming months via Google's premium AI plan, Gemini Advanced, right? So how much it costs? Gemini Advanced offers a two month free trial period and costs $20 per month thereafter. But wait, uh, there's a project Astra and what is it? Uh, Astra is a project that build, you know, a, a project to build a do everything AI agent, uh, which is, you know, it was demoed at Google's i slash o conference uh but will not be released until later this year so people will be able to use astra through their smartphones and possibly desktop computers but the company is exploring other options too such as embedding it into smart glasses or other devices or you know like oreo of um vinyls uh, you know which is what vice president of research at google DeepMind told uh, uh, report. So which is better? It's hard to tell without having hands on the full versions of these models. Uh, you know, which one is better. Google showed off project Astra through a polished video, but you know, we got to get in depth, you know what I'm saying? Whereas OpenAI opted to debut GPT-40 via a seemingly more authentic live demonstration. But in both cases, the models were asked to do things the designers likely already practiced. You know, they already practiced. They're not going to botch it, right? uh like uh that tesla truck anyways <laughs> the real test will come when they you know they're debuted uh, to millions of users with unique demands that said if you compare openai's published vi videos with google's uh with google's the two leading tools look very similar at least you know in their ease of use to generalize gpt 40 seems to be slightly ahead on audio demonstrating realistic voices uh, the conversation flow and even singing, whereas Project Astra shows off more advanced visual capabilities, like being able to remember uh, where, you know, you left your glasses. OpenAI's decision to roll out uh, uh, the new features more quickly might mean its product will uh, get more use at first than Google's, which won't be fully available until later this year. Uh, it's too soon to tell which model hallucinates false information less often or creates more useful responses. So in terms of safety, both OpenAI and Google say their models are well tested. Well, we'll see about that, right? OpenAI says GPT-40 was evaluated by more than 70 experts in fields like misinformation and social psychology. And Google has said that Gemini has the most comprehensive safety evaluations of any Google AI model to date, including for bias and toxicity. Uh, but these companies are building a future where AI models search vet and evaluate the world's information for us uh, to serve up a concise answer to our questions even more so than the simpler chat bots so it's wise to remain skeptical about what they'll tell you in regards to gpt 40 um it's you know it's free but there is a paid plan that is 20 dollars per month okay so that is what i have for you today um please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Did I miss something about GPT-40 or Google uh, I slash O? Please let me know in the comment section below. So please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share this content, right? Please share this content so we can have a, uh, you know, this conversation at a global scale. I appreciate your viewership. Please use the comment section if you have any questions. Stay safe. See you on the next video.